Hey everybody, let's jump into this trade right here. So I'm going to show you a full breakdown on my $830 profit on AMD this morning. Total scalp trade, it went pretty well. It was pretty quick, just two minutes. And it was actually, might have been just a little under two minutes. But let's check this out. I wanted to show you guys first the daily chart on AMD. So we're looking at AMD. You can see yesterday, AMD had a monster day. And so going into today, I was looking at this top right here. So we're getting kind of a high point here, and now we're approaching another high point. So could it be sort of a double top? Could it act as overhead resistance? Possibly. So what I thought would happen today out of the open was possibly a pullback, price action dropping to the downside. Now, in the current market today, I know that we could get that downside push followed by getting it bought up and then breaking to new highs. And you can see right now, we're, we're actually about to do that. So we did get that push down this morning and then now we're rebounding heading higher. So with that knowledge, let's flip over to my screen recorder here. And I'm also gonna flip over to the 15 minute chart because that's what I like to trade on AMD. That uh, it was about $830.12 it was a short position coming off this open, and I wanna set the trade up for you before I show you the video. So my strategy, my go-to, I like to trade opening range breakups and breakdowns. And what I saw here was this last 15 minute candle indicated to me that we were possibly gonna go lower. It was larger, more volume than the previous candles. It just looked really nice. So I went ahead and I placed my order below this candle's low. That's kind of what I like to do. I like to go anywhere from five to 10 cents below the low or high of this last pre-market candle. And so when we opened up, you can see that's exactly what happened. We had a little bit of a pause, which is okay because that allowed buyers and sellers to come in and battle it out. That brought a lot of volume to this candle and then we got the drop. So let's flip over, let's show you the video. Okay, so I've got the trade up here on AMD. Now you can see I've got my order set right here. This is the short order, and then this is my stop loss. I put them together as a bracket because I think that brackets are necessary to get something time stamped in their books in case the platform goes down, in case something bad happens. I like to have a bracket in there. I usually have a target, an OCO target on this as well, but I don't on this one, you can notice that. So we're just a stop loss. I'm watching this thing in the pre-market, and I've got to adjust my position because it just pushed down against me. So you can see I'm going into the editor, I'm editing the prices, I'm gonna change that to the current low. And then you can see I have a stop limit order on there. And that stop limit order right here, I adjust that as well because I wanna give it a little bit of room, sort of a gap where I can get triggered in and get filled. If you just have it on the one penny, you can get skipped. So right now you can see there's my low. I adjusted things. Current low is 92.12. I set my order to trigger at 92.06. And I'm just watching the price action play out. I like that it's holding tight and it's not being super whippy. And volume is starting to climb on it. I'm gonna move myself up out of the way so we can watch that volume down, down here. You can see right now, we're looking at over 600,000 shares of volume and we've only been open not even a minute. So I'm looking for this to push down, trigger me in, and then get a smooth continuation of the downside because I'm gonna use an automatic 25 cent stop. Now the reason I use that is I just keep it standard. That number comes from my back tests. This trade has been back tested many, many times, and this is actually trade number 102. So I'm excited to show this to you because I have some solid statistics behind this trading strategy. And so let's just see what happens. It pushes up a little, which is okay, but not lurching. It's still staying calm, I like to see that. Now as it starts to drop, I'm looking at the lows again and realize that I was a couple pennies off. So I actually make an attempt here in a minute to, to adjust my entry point. You can see I'm doing that here. I was a few pennies off, I wasn't 10 cents, I was a little under, so I was gonna drop it to 92.02. But as you can see, my PL lights up. I got triggered in, so I just said, okay, never mind. So I'm gonna pause this for a quick second, and I just wanna tell you what I'm about to do here. 
So what I like to do is once I get triggered into this trade, I have a stop loss in place. I have 1,200 shares. I'm risking $300 on the trade. My hope is to make better than 750, 2.5 Rs. If you don't know what an R is, I'll throw up a video here. You can check that out. But right now, I'm adjusting my stop loss because once this trade gets to my 2.5 R, if it gets there, I like, to tr I like to change my stop loss to 2 R. And that way, I know I can lock in 2 R. And then if it continues to drop, I have a bar by bar management strategy that I've recently adopted that I'm liking, which is allowing me to catch the larger movers without giving back a bunch of profit. So I'm gonna hit play on this. So you can see I'm adjusting my stop loss right now. I want to move it to 2R, which would be 50 cents. So I get that entered in. And the funny thing about this trade is that I keep watching it. It does get to my 2.5R. And then when I go to change the stop loss, price action actually moved back suddenly. So I actually put the stop loss in ahead of the price and it just cancels it on me. So we'll watch this and see how it plays out. You can see my P&L there. 422, 458, 470, I'm just watching this. I like that we're not retracing a lot. It's just gentle, it breathes a little bit. It pushes down, takes a quick rest, continues a little lower, takes a rest. That's fine with me. Everything seems really calm and stable. Volume's at 1.6 million shares right now. And we just keep watching. You can see the P&L, we're up close to 450. It came back into the 300s for a second. But soon, it'll push down and get into the 500s. And that's when I see things starting to open up a little. And the other thing to consider here is that this low right here, if we break that, that's a good sign. That's sort of pre-market activity low with nothing below it right now. So this could break and then keep falling. So I'm thinking this could be a larger move. But the minute I'm seeing this 633, that's got me really excited and I wanna go ahead and start thinking about moving my stop loss up. And here's my mistake. As I go ahead and fire that off, I accidentally fired it ahead of my price action. So you can see here, I got canceled. I actually made a mistake and I wanna explain why I did. 2.5R used to be $630 and that was when I was risking $250 on each trade. But today's December 1st, so I'm increasing my R value to 300. So I technically should have waited until 750. That would have been 2.5R. I fired it off when it was up 630, which is not 2.5R. That was a mistake on my part. So when I put that in, if I rewind this just a little bit, you can see that it fires off ahead of the price action and it gets canceled because the stop has to go on the opposite side to prevent back floor loss, not ahead of the price action. So now I'm just naked on it and I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna punch out. If I get a push down, I'll just take a nice push into more weakness and I'll flatten the position. You can see I'm up about 950, I fire that off and then if I pause this and move myself out of the way, you can see right here that I bought back and closed my short position of 1,200 shares at $91.37, which gave me a profit of 830.12. And that's how it played out. It was a nice quick push. It did not allow me to get into my bar by bar strategy because I screwed that up. If I would have been realizing that 2.5R was actually $750, not $630 from my old um, risking $250, I would have probably been able to stay in this trade a little bit longer. But as we can see, this trade bounced. It would have sucked me out. So I think I actually got away with extra profit um, that wouldn't have happened if I would have actually played it the way that I intended. Quick mistake, it happens. Even when you have some experience, you still make little mistakes. But fortunately, this one worked out in my favor and I'm super pumped about that. So this is trade 102. Tomorrow will be trade 103. I'm just gonna show you the ins and outs of my strategy each day and how I'm doing on the P&L. And then I'm starting to think about doing an end of the month P&L recap where I show you how my month went. And we can even break it down week by week and even day by day if you have questions about that. So if you have questions, 
Drop them in the comments below. If you want to see more day trade recap videos, subscribe, hit the like button, and let me know. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.